this video, I've created eight essential grunge patches with the Boss Katana Gen 3, which you can download for free over at the Boss Tone Exchange website. Here's some of their new features. This isn't gonna be a deep dive into a comparison and all that sort of stuff. Loads of videos have already done that. So in this video, I'm gonna run through the patches and I'm gonna briefly show you my approach to dialing in those tones. So you can either just use them as is, or you can use them as a basis for creating your own patches. So first up, Nirvana's Teen Spirit, we've got to do that. I think this is one of the most requested downloads on the Boss um, Tone Exchange website. So it would be remiss of me not to include it. And it is a staple, right? And we've got three main components. We've got the clean amp type, which is what we have here. Touch of reverb. I mean, it's literally on like number four. <laughs> And for extra attention to detail, you can start with an upstroke. If you wish. The next ingredient, and let me show you what we've got here. Look, if I go to the booster, you can see I'm using the distortion. Now using the foot switch, I can turn the booster on or off, right? Which is very handy. So we can play this. <laughs> Pretty cool, right? The next thing we have is modulation. And I've just gone for a, uh, a chorus. There's a bunch of settings on this chorus, actually. You basically have got rate, depth, and then level. It's got a high setting and a low setting, so you can really, really um, tweak it if you want. But I can, again, turn that on or off. For the verse part. Then I add the booster for the next part. And then you turn the chorus off when you go into the chorus. That is it. A key point here in this tone, if we go over to the booster setting, is I really like using the clean tone for the amp tone rather than another patch with like say the lead or the brown or crunch or whatever. Firstly, because you have like a, a clean amp tone and then pedals on top effectively with the booster. And you do get a bit more control over a lot of the parameters as well. Next up, we are gonna go to Come As You Are. Now this is identical to the Teen Spirit patch. I've just changed the chorus setting. So you can see it's a lot more warbly. <laughs> And if you want to play it properly, you've got to tune down a tone. I'm not going to do the whole guitar, but you get the idea. Now I've done it in a separate patch, right? But what I could have done is there's another FX bank here. I could have just added a slightly different chorus type in here. That would have been probably more sensible. But anyway, next up. Black Hole Sun, one of the most iconic grunge tunes there is. So um, I'm using Kim's uh, Polara model as well. This one, I've gone for the new um, amp model, which is called Pushed. Slightly broken up clean tone, right? It's not super clean, right? There's a, an element of um, grit to it. So that's the kind of rhythm part, right? But for the effects, we've got a rotary, right? For Kim's part. Great, isn't it? Then I've got a, just a warm overdrive uh, for the boost, right, for when you go into the chorus. And that goes like this. <laughs> Lovely, isn't it? It's a really organic sounding overdrive to my ears. <laughs> Next up, 
some Jerry Cantrell and one of my favourite tunes is Rooster. The beginning of Rooster has a slightly gritty um, clean tone. So again, I've gone for the pushed amp type. You can see I've got the modulation here. I can turn on and off. This is the flanger one. So without the flanger. Just a little bit of grit to it, right? And then if we add the flanger. I've done something slightly different for the dirt tone, right? So I've actually gone for the lead option just to show you another approach to getting the tones, right? Um, and in the chain then I've got the booster already engaged, right? And I'm using the turbo OD for this, right? In the uh, modulation setting, I've got the auto wah, just to show you that too, right? So we'd have... <laughs> that and then if we put the auto wire on <laughs> great isn't it I think this one's also quite good for man in the box too Next up, Yellow Leadbetter, one of the absolute classics, but quite a difficult tone to get with a lot of gear, to be honest. This does it pretty well, though. Uh, in fact, really well. You've got to have uh, the second position pickup in play, right? So not bridge. So you're playing these two. It's got a real depth to it, hasn't it? It's a super punchy tone. So you can hear a bit of reverb on there too, right? But I've gone for the clean amp type. Um, quite a bit of gain actually as well. And you can see, you know, what I'm doing in the EQ and stuff. I'm also using the solo boost effectively, right? Gives you a bit more really. Sounds like this. <laughs> go for um, selector position four so these two you're into black territory right super punchy it's one of my favorite tones if not my absolute favorite tone from this whole lot i say that last one was my favorite this one might be mr de leo dead and bloated <laughs> This is cool because again I've gone for uh, clean tone so we've got the clean amp type right but the booster I'm using is the governor DS which is effectively a Marshall in a box pedal right from you know the early one from the 80s and then I've also got a bit of chorus so 
really low level, right? Because it just adds a bit of fatness. So this is with it on. And with it off. It's quite a nice lead tone too. But by no means least, we have a Foo Fighters one, Stick Around. And you can see uh, in the booster section, I'm using a pushed clean, but with a rat pedal on top, right? Which I think Dave did use for that first album. This is the clean tone. So there's a nice bit of break up there already. But then with the booster on. So you get the idea. I hope you enjoyed this one. As I say, you can download all of these patches for free over at the Boss Guitar website. See you soon.